We don't want anything to go to waste, do we? I expect it. Ah, good. As you can see, each machine will release its package once it's accomplished its purpose. Efficiency is our watchword. Next up, evisceration. That would be the the eviscerator. You learn quickly. As before, engage the mechanism briefly to verify mechanical integrity. Was it supposed to do that? Did you not see the blades come out? No, just just sparks. Also, a, a metal thing just fell out of the main bit. Oh dear, the cognitives are overloaded again. I thought we'd fix that. Uh, maybe you better come down here and fix it again. Ha! Uh, I'm sure you can manage on your own. There's a spare one in the cupboard downstairs. There's only one way to insert it. It's in! There we go! Try the button again. Ready for another package. Uh, another package? Once I achieve a steadier stream of raw material, I would have to keep these machines running all day. Or at least long enough to take advantage of any surplus protein that could be obtained in Wellington Wells. Now for the final process. Bring the package to the exfoliator on the next floor. Exfoliator? Yep. It exposes the skin to steam, separating it from the muscle. And then it removes the skin, making it available for tanning. For other purposes. Now, mount the package on the expo- Superb! The package will be released once it's fully exfoliated. Do you think exfoliator is the most word? I thought about decorticate, but it's sanguinate, eviscerate, exfoliate. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Definitely exfoliate. I'm so glad to hear that. I mean, it's a scold or skinner, but that doesn't sound very official, does it? And the last machine is the extruder. Oh, oh, oh. This that's it. The package is now fully prepared. We're ready for the extruder. Mind the package and let's get cracking. Oh, oh, I can barely contain myself. This is really the machine I'm proudest of. It's a combination meat grinder, pulper, and injection mold meat former. You won't believe what I had to go through to get the pieces. this now. Now, up on my board you'll see a list of orders. We've already filled in the addresses. All you have to do is press the right button. For example, if you order tools for one meter and one meat pumpkin, then you press the appropriate button and then you put the order in a pneumatic tube. I to read this now.
Beautiful friendship.
good at justifying yourself. Uh, I suppose you learned that during the war. What are you talking about? I found your letter. You were a child then. You wouldn't understand. Oh yes, it was a happy, carefree time for us kids. I loved her. We were just two young people co-op in something bigger than ourselves. Well, that doesn't sound like what the home army's on to you about. You don't understand. I thought it would stay forever. I had to sell meat. We had to get on. I suppose we all made our sacrifices. If you... August 30th. Have to be more careful. I accidentally put my hat next to the suction coupling and it went right into the intake canister. Spent an hour pulling felt off the blades in the cyclone mincer. Imagine if that had been a bottle or worse, a wrench. September 9th. Problem solved. Added a power cut off to the suction coupling. Now it won't even start up unless a package is mounted onto it. I'm going to add that same cut off to all the machines to minimise accidents. Don't want Edmund's hand ending up in the V-meat. Ah, if I stuff that broken bit of the eviscerator into the package, it ought to clog up the works nicely, shouldn't it? Alright. Are you ready for another day of serving people? I mean, uh, serving the people, of course. <laughs> My little chick. Never mind. That. Something's gone terribly wrong! There's smoke coming out! That doesn't sound good. The better I'd come down. Don't try anything clever. We've got a lot to do today. Uh, it takes too long to recover from the spanker. Get my things and go. Are you skulking about somewhere? I don't see anyone else's things here. That's a good sign. You're not in the center, are you? Come on, Thing again. That doesn't sound good. The better I'd come down. Don't try anything clever. We've got a lot to do today. Uh, it takes too long to recover from the spanker. Ah, 
Princess to the Extruder Room, please? A Princess to the Extruder Room. You're not in the center, are you? What's going on up there? I heard shouting. Where's Rich? Mr. Cutty's turning cadavers into V-meat. I barely escaped becoming V-meat myself. He's got these horrible machines in there that turn people into meat bunk cake. Human bunk cake? That's, that's monstrous. Is he armed? He has a rather nasty spanker, but I think he's a bit trapped in the cellar at the moment. Right. We'll knock out the power. Go spank him ourselves. Thank you, citizen. We'll take it from here. Thank you. you can't do this to me! I'm a pillar of the community! It's all lies! I never! Those are all perfectly legitimate machines! I'm only trying to feed people! We're letting perfectly good meat go rotten! That's insane! I should give thought to becoming a vegetarian.